Hello viewers, welcome to my channel IITJ Olympiads and AP Physics with Ambarish and uh, today I have brought another very interesting problem and this is an eternal uh, pain for uh, uh, students. In fact, uh, every year I find so many students asking me uh, how to do this problem and is there any way we can reduce the bulwark because they are st scared of the amount of bulwark that is generally required for doing this problem. So uh, let's see how to do this problem that I am going to present and how to reduce the bulwark, how to work smartly and not uh, just uh, do the bulwark. So let's uh, have a look at the problem. So here is the problem. This is Pathfinder laws of motion build your understanding problem 58. That is sliding block and a pulley on the plank. So let me read out the question and then uh, we'll see how to uh, do this smartly. That's most important. Okay. So let's see. The small block of mass m is placed on a platform that is a rectangular protru protrusion. So this is a kind of plank, uh, L-shaped plank you can say and uh, there's a small block kept over it. And this block is connected to a string that's passing over the pulley and this then string is connected to the wall. Okay. So the block is connected to one end of a light and extensible cord that passes over an ideal pulley fixed on the corner of the rectangular protrusion and finally attached to the wall. Segment of the rope between the pulley and the wall is horizontal and is at height h above the top face of the platform as shown in the figure. So this height is given as h. Okay. The platform is on a horizontal frictionless floor. Okay. So here mu is 0. The coefficient of friction between the block and the top face of the platform is mu. Here the coefficient of friction is mu. The platform is pulled away from the wall so that it moves with a constant velocity v. So we are pulling it with some force f such that it moves with a constant speed v. Of course you will have to adjust force uh, to maintain the constant speed. Find the force f pulling the platform when the segment of the cord between the block and the pulley makes an angle theta with the horizontal. So at some instant let's say this angle is theta so we have to find the instantaneous value of this force in terms of theta and the other given parameters. Okay. Okay. Uh, find the force f pulling the platform when the segment of the cord between the block and the pulley makes an angle theta with the horizontal. Denote the acceleration of free fall by g and assume that the block does not leave the platform. Okay. So if you want you can give it a try. I will get into my analysis right away. Let's see. Okay. So uh, there are two parts to doing this problem. First is to find the acceleration in terms of this velocity using constraint relation. And the second part is drawing a smart free body diagram carefully introducing the forces and resolving the forces uh, in a smart manner so that you have to you can get the answer in as few equations as possible. I will be doing it using just two equations. Once I figure out the constraint I will just be making two equations and two unknowns. How to do that? Okay. So stay tuned till end to understand how we can do it, do it smartly. Okay. Let's see finding acceleration by constraint. So let's say uh, this uh, okay so the plank is moving with speed v and let's say this block has got a speed capital V relative to the uh, plank okay. So what do we know that the uh, the rate of approach of this block towards this pulley should be same as the rate of uh, separation of this pulley from the wall because the total length is con uh, constant right. So the rate at which this block comes nearer to the pulley should be also the rate at which the wall gets farther from this pulley okay. So that's what I've done. So let velocity of the block related to the plank be capital V. Now by length conservation we can say rate of separation of point W of the wall from the pulley that's this point must be equal to rate of approach of block towards the pulley okay. So What's the approach velocity of the block towards pulley? That is capital V cos theta. So that's the rate of decrease of this distance. This is standard theory that you study when you study velocity of approach and velocity of separation. Okay. So capital V cos theta is equal to small v. Uh, okay. Because uh, uh, from the plank frame, if you see the point W is moving with the velocity small v away from this pulley because this is moving to uh, away from the wall at speed v. So, so in this frame, wall is moving with speed small v. Okay. So that's what I've done. So this is the rate of separation of the point W from the pulley and this is the approach velocity of the block towards the pulley. So that gives you capital V is equal to small v sec theta. So that's one equation. So we have worked out the relation between the relative velocity and the velocity of the plank. Okay. So now how to find out the acceleration you just differentiate it and once you differentiate it you will have to deal with d theta by dt right because uh, small v is of course constant and sec theta derivative will be 
sec theta tan theta and there will be a d theta by dt so how to do that so you see theta is this angle so we have to find the rate of change of this angle that's nothing but angular velocity of the block about the pulley right so the velocity of this block uh, is capital V so the component of velocity of this block perpendicular to this uh, thread will be capital V sin theta and suppose this length is L then uh, the angular velocity that's d theta by dt will be simply capital V sin theta divided by L right so that's also the part of standard theory when you study the angular velocity of one particle about the other so you take the component of velocity perpendicular to the line joining and divide by the distance so that's what we are going to do so let's see the maths of it okay so now let acceleration of this block relative to the uh, let the acceleration of this block be a so uh, I have not deliberately written that acceleration relative to the plank why because plank is an inertial frame you see it's moving with constant speed v so whatever is the acceleration in the plank frame same as the also the acceleration from the ground frame okay so let this acceleration be e note that it is this it is same from the ground frame and plank frame since plank is an inertial frame okay so now differentiating this equation with respect to time what do we get so acceleration that is d capital V by dt should be equal to small v is a constant and sec theta tan theta d theta by dt and what's d theta by dt you know that that's capital V sin theta divided by L so that's what I've written d theta by dt is capital V sin theta by L and you already have found capital V so substitute capital V from here that is small v sec theta so this becomes small v sec theta sin theta by L and uh, sin theta into sec theta becomes tan theta so uh, d theta by dt is v tan theta by L and now what do I do? I put d theta by dt into this equation to solve for acceleration. So if you do that, what do you get? Uh, just a little bit of simplification and uh, you get uh, uh, v square by L sec theta tan square theta. This is what you get and you might be wondering why I have multiplied and divided by sin theta because I know that I have not been given the value of L but I know the value of h. Okay and L sin theta becomes H so that's why I have multiplied and divided by sin theta and if you simplify this becomes uh, V square by H tan cube theta so that's the expression for acceleration okay so half the battle is won so first part was finding the acceleration in terms of the uh, other given parameters okay and now the second part is intelligently making the free body diagram and uh, 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 then uh, resolving the forces in appropriate directions to solve the question with minimum possible number of equations so hold tight uh, I'm going to present that part now okay so second part drawing the free body diagram intelligently so we know that whenever friction is kinetic the net contact force is inclined at an angle phi with the normal such that tan phi is mu you see here the friction is kinetic so if the friction is kinetic normal reaction is acting vertically upward mu times normal reaction is acting horizontally and the resultant will be acting at angle phi such that see this is n and this is mu n so uh, tan phi must be nothing but equal to mu right so instead of uh, taking two forces one friction and one normal reaction i just call the total contact forces fc and i take the total contact force at an angle phi with respect to vertical and such that I know that value of tan phi is mu because the friction is kinetic because the block is sliding right so now uh, this this was a very intelligent move why because now <coughs> I don't know contact force but then I don't need to know the contact force I can make the equations in direction perpendicular to uh, the contact force so that I don't have to worry about contact force at all okay so what's that equation you see on this block uh, the acceleration is a in this direction so along this pink line this will become what this will be see this angle is phi so again uh, with horizontal this angle must be phi okay this is phi this is 90 minus phi so, so the acceleration along this pink line is a cos phi right component component of tension along this line will be what that will be you see this angle is theta and this entire angle is phi so this angle is uh, phi minus theta so component of tension along this direction is simply t cos of phi minus theta and component of mg in this direction is going to be simply mg sin phi so isn't that very uh, intelligent thing to do I, I have avoided the contact force altogether in this uh, equation I'll need one more equation for that also I'll be doing some very intelligent manipulation so hold tight okay so <coughs> let me read out we know that whenever friction is kinetic the net contact force is inclined at an angle phi with normal such that tan phi is mu now applying f equal to ma in direction perpendicular to contact force what do i get 
t cos of phi minus theta that's this uh, the component of tension minus mg sin phi that's this component of mg is equal to ma cos phi this angle is phi phi 90 minus phi and again phi with the horizontal okay so that's one equation and what are the unknowns here i i don't know the value of t here okay uh, in fact if i want the value of t you can see <laughs> from this equation i can straight away get the value of tension although that's not asked in the problem but if i wanted to get the value of tension uh, in one straight equation just using one equation i could get the value of tension right now uh, another smart maneuver uh, how to get the value of the applied force f so instead of drawing the individual free body diagrams you know that uh, i can also make an equation that net external force should be equal to mass times summation of mass times acceleration of all the bodies so sigma f external is sigma mi ai where mi is the mass of the ith body and ai is the acceleration of the ith body now why does this work you know that uh, in any system the summation of internal and external i mean summation of internal forces must be zero because all of them are action reaction pairs so for ith body you will write force on ith body is equal to mass of ith body times acceleration of ith body but then force on ith body can be written as external force on ith body plus internal force on ith body and if you add over all the bodies all the internal forces cancel out and what you are left uh, on the right hand side that is sigma mi ai is equal to sigma f external so now uh, that's brilliant because you don't have to work, worry about the normal reaction you don't have to worry about this uh, friction so you can consider the block plus the uh, plank as uh, a single system so what are the external forces so you're applying capital f over here and there's an external tension t acting on the system so uh, i just imagine i have taken this as my system uh, I've cut the string from here and up till here is my system. So this tension becomes external to the system and this capital F becomes external to the system. So uh, net rightward force becomes simply T minus F, right? This tension T is acting in this direction and F is acting in this direction. So T minus F should be equal to sigma mi AI. Now again, uh, I don't know the mass of the plank, but then I don't have to know because uh, its acceleration is anyway zero. So mass of plank times acceleration of plank is zero. So what remains is mass of this block times acceleration of this block, right? So using this on the combined system of block plus plank, what I can say T minus F is equal to MA and plus zero for the plank. So T minus F is equal to MA. So in equation six and seven, if you see from six, we already have the value of tension. So just substitute the tension here and solve for F. Okay. So you have the value of tension from equation six and uh, you just put it here. Uh, don't worry about cos of phi minus theta. You can anyway uh, get uh, cos A minus B formula. You can use and expand. And if you know tan phi equal to mu, you also know sin phi and cos phi. So don't worry about that. So that uh, so cos phi minus theta is unknown. It's not really an unknown. Okay. So uh, so from solving equations six and seven simultaneously, we have two equations and two unknowns. Okay. Equation 6 and 7, the only unknowns are T and F and A is known already from equation 4. We found using constraint and using tan phi equal to mu, if you solve that uh, and appropriately you put tan phi equal to mu, wherever you are getting cos phi divided by sin phi. So cos phi by sin phi becomes cot uh, phi, which is 1 by mu and otherwise sin phi by cos phi will be 1 by mu. So a little bit of mathematical manipulation, you, if you do, you can easily get uh, this. Uh, uh, this uh, sol uh, upon solving you, this is the value of force that you get right and now you can just put the value of acceleration that you found using constraint and if you do that this is the final answer that you get so this is the uh, force that's being that's pulling the plank and if uh, we had to find the tension it's not asked but uh, i've just uh, noted it for future reference maybe i'll set this problem for some uh, paper so uh, this is the solution for tension okay and that's my analysis for this uh, lovely problem and a lovely problem and a lovely solution. I hope you like the cute solution. And uh, if you like the solution, please do give a thumbs up to my video and please share this video as much as possible with your friends through Telegram, Discord, uh, WhatsApp or uh, whatever medium you use for networking with your uh, fellow students uh, who are preparing for JE or Olympiads. And uh, most importantly, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel right now okay hit that subscribe button uh, because that's what keeps me motivated to do a new video for uh, you uh, frequently thanks a lot for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one and as always god bless you all thank you